Have you ever wondered what the benefits are of backup of your Android device on a rooted device? Well, I'm going to dive into that next. Hands on Android is brought to you from LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether they're working in the office or remote. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on Android is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped promotes clean hygiene when it comes to shaving. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash twit. Hello, everyone. I'm Jason Howell. Welcome to Hands on Android. On last week's episode, I looked at backing up your device, and specifically Google's cloud backup option that comes pretty naturally and pretty automatically with your device. You've encountered it, whether you realize it or not, it's happened behind the scenes. Well, I thought this week we'd take a look at something that's a little bit more intentional on your part. That is, if you happen to have a rooted device uh, what kind of power does that give you when it comes to backing up your device? It's a more comprehensive app backup specifically. You just have more capabilities around that. Now, you're going to need a rooted Android device in order to enjoy some of these benefits, of course, and a very particular app to do it in the case of today's demonstration. Uh, so that's what I'm going to get into. But before we get to the app, let's talk a little bit about root itself. What does it mean when a device is rooted? Well, Root is based on the Linux underpinnings of the Android operating system. And long story short, it essentially allows for the addition of a Linux function called SU, which some people call super user, other people refer to this as switch user. It's the process of root that actually grants access to controls that simply weren't there before that device was rooted or had that root access. Now, as it relates to backup, it allows root compatible backup apps like the one I'm going to show off today to get a complete backup of the apps on your device. That's deeper than what Google currently supports for most of uh, apps uh, with this cloud backup approach. But a rooted device at its core is inherently less secure than an unrooted device. That's because by achieving root, it kind of bypasses a lot of Google's security underpinnings uh, on Android. So you kind of have to ask yourself the question, are these deep backup capabilities that are allowed because of root worth kind of reducing the security of your device for? That's on you to decide. I would check out Jerry Hildenbrand's excellent write-up on root. It's over at Android Central. I'm going to link to it in the show notes here, but you can learn a lot more about Root itself and kind of get a little bit of education there. He did a great job wrapping it up. Today, I'm not going to show you how to root your device. It turns out every device is different. Some devices you can't even root. If you want to find out, like find a guide for your particular device, head over to xda-developers.com. They have a number of forums there for support for rooting different devices, and you can find what you need there. I'm not going to go into how you do that here. I'm going to assume that you already have a rooted device. And if you don't have a rooted device, you can kind of see what it's like to have have one and the capabilities that that affords as relates to backup. So when you back up with Google Cloud methods, only certain apps uh, pick up where you left off, right? And this is why we want to do root backup by comparison. Google Apps, of course, benefit from it. That Most of their data is stored up in the cloud. So when they reinstall their app, those apps come back with all the data and it's filled in as if you, you know, never left before, never left the old device to the new one. You pick up where you left off. Other apps on your device, though, you'll notice don't have those cloud hook, uh, hooks um, into them. So restoring apps through Google service often for those apps means that it just reinstalls it. You still have to log in, you still have to repopulate it with your data. In the case of games, you have to start from the beginning and many times. Root Backup actually allows for all of the app data to be copied over to your new device. That's the power of it, meaning you're likely gonna be able to pick up right where you left off inside of those apps. Not bad, eh? So let's dive in to what you need here. Now, obviously you need a rooted device. I happen to have here a OnePlus 5. It is fully rooted. You're also going to want to head over to the Play Store and download an app called Titanium Backup. This app has been around forever, and by the design, you'll see it looks like it. Now, notice how the Play Store page denotes in the title of the app itself, Root Needed. This app simply will not run properly on an unrooted device. 
Uh, I've got the OnePlus Nord here, and I'm showing the app running on here or not running very well. Uh, you're going to be warned about the fact that it just doesn't work over here. So you're going to need a rooted device. Now, this app is going to facilitate backing up apps and the data associated with them, uh, as well as restoring at a baseline. I do recommend purchasing the Pro Key upgrade of the app, which I have here for $5.99. It includes a huge list of very useful features, but one in particular, automatic backup functionality for cloud destinations, which is what we're going to use today. Things like Drive, Box, and Dropbox. So let's uh, dive in and take a look at Titanium Backup. This episode of Hands on Android is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is forever changing the grooming game. The Perfect Package 3.0 kit comes with the new Lawnmower 3.0, a waterproof cordless body trimmer, a luxury travel bag, a pair of anti chafing boxer briefs, and more. Your sack will be nick free thanks to Manscaped's advanced skin safe technology. This month, Manscaped is releasing its Shears 2.0 nail grooming kit. Get those talons in shape for summer. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash twit. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash twit. Manscaped.com slash twit. So when you first run the app, you're going to be prompted to give it something called super user permissions. Now, basically, you're giving this app permission to run at root level. That allows it to enjoy unfettered access to most aspects of your device. Now, for the purpose of this episode, personally, I trust Titanium Backup with this access. And once in, like I said earlier, the design it leaves a lot to be desired. It's literally looked like this since the early days of Android. Um, so, you know, forgive it for that. It's the power that lies underneath that really matters. Uh, very outdated, but the functionality that's in there is what really counts. So once we're in this overview page on the very front of the app here, it lets you know what your device is or isn't supporting. Specifically, is your device rooted or is it not? So it gives you the status there. Also some other important details. We can see that I have no cloud storage destination set up for my backups. We'll have to set that up. Uh, if that's how you choose to back them up, you'll have to do that too. You might want to back up to an SD card if you have one on your device. That's also up to you and you can set that destination inside the app or over to the cloud, which is what I'm going to show today. You won't want to back up to your internal storage only because think about it, it's going to disappear when you wipe your device unless you manually move that backup somewhere else. So keep that in mind. You don't want it just going to one place and just store it on the device. Uh, you'll lose it. So let's jump into the preferences to get things set up for our cloud destinations as well as a few other key features uh, for my app backups. So that's menu and then preferences and that'll take you in there. I'm going to go ahead and tap to activate Google Drive as my destination. There's a few other clouds uh, destinations here. I'm using Google Drive. And in there, I can actually name the folder where my backups will appear within Google Drive uh, in the settings for Google Drive. And we haven't even linked up yet. We're just kind of naming it. We're going to link it up in a second. Uh, the backup folder in the main settings, uh, we can set a backup folder location that has to do with the folder on the device itself that the backups are saved to prior to even uploading them to the cloud destination. It has to save on the device before it goes up. And below that are a few checkboxes regarding APKs. Now, APK files are the application files themselves. That's not including the data that's associated with them. So if you want to back up not only your user data of a particular app, but also the app file itself so it's completely portable, mark these on. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch off system apps for this demonstration since those can cause issues when restored, especially if you're restoring them to the wrong device, it'll throw things off. And protected apps are usually pre-installed apps. You could think this think of this as like bloatware, uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, often those are read only. Uh, so in this case, no need to copy those either. I'm going to leave those uh, unchecked. So now backing up, let's go back out to the backup restore tab. Now you'll see here, there are a lot of entries in this list. It's pretty overwhelming actually. Most of them that you see here are system apps of some sort. Now I do not want to back these up. I'm here to back up my installed apps only. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the search button and then the filter button that appears there. And in the filter screen under filter by type, I'm going to deselect system. 
And once I've done that, I'll hit the green check mark. And you can see now when we go back out, that list is so much easier on the eyes. We actually have a sense of the apps that, at least in my case, I actually want to back up. If I'm interested in doing a single solitary backup of a particular app, I can of course do that. I just tap on the app in question and it gives me the ability, it gives me a view where I can easily select to back up on a per app basis. There's some other functions in there, but I'm not going to do that here. Let's assume that I just want to back up all of the apps that are listed here. So I'm going to tap the checkbox up top, and this is the batch actions section. Since I have a number of user apps installed, that's 18 to be exact, I'm gonna tap run next to that function to back them all up. And it's gonna pull up a screen so that I can confirm which apps those are. If I wanted to deselect, I could here. Uh, but once I'm happy with what I have, I hit the green check mark and it kicks into the process of backing all of these apps up. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time depending obviously on how many user apps you have installed, you're gonna to want to let it run its course. And we'll skip forward in fast motion here and now it's backed up onto the device itself. So it's stored in that device location. However, it hasn't been synced to the cloud yet. We're gonna to have to do that right now. Now let's tap into the schedules tab and there you're gonna find the sync to Google Drive schedule. I'm gonna to tap to run that and since this is the first time syncing, we're gonna to have to connect it to our cloud account. So now we're actually making that connection. So we go through the, the jump the hurdles there to make that happen and once I complete that, I'll get a notification that the backup is indeed syncing over to Google Drive. And this can actually take a good amount of time, depends on the number of apps on your device and all that. But once it's there, it's safe, it's ready to be restored either on my new device or my new OS, or even in place of the current state of that app on the same device, very powerful. So then now we get to the point where we have, you know, you can imagine our new device all set up, it is indeed rooted, and uh, we wanna restore that app data that we backed up over. Now first, you need to move that cloud backup over to your new device. Well, we have one problem here. The Drive app for Android is the problem. It doesn't actually let you download an entire folder. It only lets you download the files within a folder. Could take some time, could create a mess. Maybe you don't want that. So here's one way to get around it. Open up Chrome browser on your device and navigate to drive.google.com. It's going to pull up the mobile version of this site, but what I'm going to do is go into the settings and turn on desktop mode. Now I'm doing that because in the desktop version of Drive, you do have the ability to download a folder. I don't know why it's on the, not in the mobile app, but you can do it here. So I'm going to go ahead and long press on the folder, pull up that menu, select the download it, and it's going to compress the folder into a zip file on the site and then download to my device. Now, once I have it on my device, I'll unzip that so that the backup files are reachable again by Titanium Backup. And I'll launch Titanium Backup again. Now let's go to Menu, Preferences, and Backup Folder Location and navigate to the Downloads folder that I just brought those backups into. So I'm pointing it over there to say, hey, the backups are located over here. And we wanna use that current folder and we'll exit out entirely and relaunch the app. This is required because it needs to refresh the connection to this new location and like syncs it up to that backup location. And finally, we can tap the check mark up top to go back into batch actions, find the action to restore all of the apps with data, which is what I'm gonna do here and uh, fire that off. And this is pulling from that backup location that we just synced to on the device. Uh, once we hit that green check mark, the backup process just kicks off. And once it's done, we are good to go. And you can take a deep breath because, yes, that was a long way to go, but we got there. Whew. So there you have it. Backup with Root. It's quite a ways to go. Uh, yes, it's a little outdated. Feels kind of like jumping through fiery hoops in order to make it even work, but it does work and it works exactly as I've told you. Those apps come back and all the app data is in place and everything works the way you want it to. Pretty cool stuff. Maybe that's convinced you that Root is, is something to check out. Maybe it's just like, wow, that's uh, just too much to, to run through in order to get there. 
I understand either way, but that's what I'm here to do, to show you what it's like. Uh, and I plan to do that each and every week. Send me your questions, emails, uh, you know, in your tips, your tricks, that sort of stuff. Uh, hands on Android at twit.tv. You can find the show page at twit.tv slash HOA. That's where you can find links to all the different podcatchers. So you can subscribe in audio and video formats and link out to YouTube to subscribe and watch there. Thank you so much for watching this week. We'll see you next week on Hands on Android. Bye, everybody. Be sure to check out the other shows on the network, like my other show, Hands On Wellness. I love to share different tips and tricks that's going to help you get a better grasp on your personal wellness. Just go to twit.tv slash how and subscribe now.